The James Webb Space Telescope is a space telescope being jointly developed by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. It is planned to succeed the Hubble Space Telescope as NASA's flagship astrophysics mission. The primary mirror of the JWST, the optical telescope element, consists of 18 hexagonal mirror segments made of gold-plated beryllium which combine to create a 6.5 meters diameter mirror considerably larger than Hubble's 2.4 meters mirror. The telescope must be kept very cold in order to observe in the infrared without interference, so it will be deployed in space near the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point, and a large sunshield made of silicon and aluminum-coated kapton will keep its mirror and instruments below 50K. The NASA Goddard Space Flight Center is managing the development effort, and the Space Telescope Science Institute will operate Webb after launch. The James Webb Space Telescope has an expected mass about half of Hubble Space Telescopes, but its primary mirror, a 6.5 meters diameter gold-coated beryllium reflector will have a collecting area over six times as large, 25.4 square meters, using 18 hexagonal mirrors with 0.9 square meters obscuration for the secondary support struts. Existing space telescopes such as Hubble cannot study these bands since their mirrors are insufficiently cool, approximately 1,500,000 kilometers beyond Earth's orbit. To make observations in the infrared spectrum, the JWST must be kept under 50 kelvins, otherwise, infrared radiation from the telescope itself would overwhelm its instruments. The Webb telescope will use 126 small motors to occasionally adjust the optics as there is a lack of environmental disturbances of a telescope in space. The Integrated Science Instrument Module is a framework that provides electrical power, computing resources, cooling capability as well as structural stability to the Webb telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope Integrated Science Instrument Module in Command and Data Handling Engineering Team uses SpaceWire to send data between the science instruments and the data handling equipment. The spacecraft bus is the primary support component of the James Webb Space Telescope that hosts a multitude of computing, communication, propulsion, and structural parts, bringing the different parts of the telescope together. Along with the sunshield, it forms the spacecraft element of the space telescope. The spacecraft bus is connected to optical telescope element via the Diplo. The spacecraft bus is on the sun-facing, warm, side of the sunshield and operates at a temperature of about 300 K. The structure of the spacecraft bus weighs 350 kg, and must support the 6,200 kg space telescope. The spacecraft bus can rotate the telescope with a pointing precision of 1 arcsecond, and isolates vibration down to 2 milliarcseconds. The desire for a large infrared space telescope traces back decades. In the United States, the Shuttle Infrared Telescope Facility was planned while the Space Shuttle was in development, and the potential for infrared astronomy was acknowledged at that time. Compared to ground telescopes, space observatories were free from atmospheric absorption of infrared light. In some cases, it has been possible to maintain a temperature low enough through the design of the spacecraft to enable near-infrared observations without a supply of coolant such as the extended missions of Spitzer Space Telescope and Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. The James Webb Space Telescope is designed to cool itself without a doer, using a combination of sunshields and radiators, with the mid-infrared instrument using an additional cryocooler. The JWST's delays and cost increases can be compared to the Hubble Space Telescope. Early development work for a Hubble successor between 1989 and 1994 led to the High z Telescope concept, a fully baffled 4 meters aperture infrared telescope that would recede to an orbit at 3 astronomical unit. In the faster, better, cheaper era in the mid-1990s, NASA leaders pushed for a low-cost space telescope. Ball Aerospace and Technologies has been subcontracted to develop and build the optical telescope element. The Canadian Space Agency pledged $39 million Canadian in 2007 and in 2012 delivered its contributions in equipment to point the telescope and detect atmospheric conditions on distant planets. In the 1990s it was unknown if a telescope so large and low mass was possible. Final construction of the Webb telescope was completed in November 2016, after which extensive testing procedures began. Some scientists have expressed concerns about growing costs and schedule delays for the Webb telescope, which competes for scant astronomy budgets and thus threatens funding for other space science programs. Because the runaway budget diverted funding from other research, a 2010 Nature article described the JWST as the telescope that ate astronomy. In May 2007, a full-scale model of the telescope was assembled for display at the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum on the National Mall, Washington, D.C. The model was intended to give the viewing public a better understanding of the size, scale and complexity of the satellite, 
as well as piqued the interest of viewers in science and astronomy in general. In September 2021, it was reported that NASA had decided not to rename the telescope as a result of the controversy. Former Administrator Sean O'Keefe, who made the decision to name the telescope after Webb, denounced the discrimination of talented professionals on the basis of their personal preferences, but stated that to suggest Webb should be held accountable for that activity when there's no evidence to even hint as an injustice. The Harriet Tubman Space Telescope has also been proposed. The telescope itself is not serviceable, and astronauts would not be able to perform tasks such as swapping instruments, as with the Hubble telescope. JWST is the formal successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, and since its primary emphasis is on infrared astronomy, it is also a successor to the Spitzer Space Telescope. This makes a space telescope preferable for infrared observation. The Space Telescope Science Institute, located in Baltimore, Maryland, on the Homewood campus of Johns Hopkins University, was selected as the Science and Operations Center for JWST with an initial budget of US$162. Most of the data processing on the telescope is done by conventional single board computers. Go programs will be selected through peer review by a time allocation committee, similar to the proposal review process used for the Hubble Space Telescope. In November 2017, the Space Telescope Science Institute announced the selection of 13 directors' discretionary early release science programs, chosen through a competitive proposal process.